Before Patricia Heaton's acting career could even start, it was on the brink of extinction. But fate had one final card to play, an all-or-nothing audition that could either fuel her dreams or extinguish them entirely. With determination etched on her face and sweat streaming down her cheeks, Heaton bolted to the audition room. She battled for her place in line, prepared to give it her all, even to the extent of sharing an unanticipated kiss with an unknown co-star. This is just one of the many untold stories from Patricia Heaton's life. So prepare yourselves for more rare stories of Patricia Heaton while enjoying some of her rare photos. Raised far from the glitz and glamour of Hollywood or New York, Patricia Heaton's early life was nonetheless influenced by a minor celebrity, her father. She was born on March 4, 1958 and spent her childhood in the suburbs of Cleveland, where her father, the late Chuck Heaton, left a significant legacy as a renowned sports writer. An author of the widely acclaimed column Plain Talk, Chuck dedicated more than half a century of his life to the Cleveland Plain Dealer. However, in 1971, a tragedy struck the Heaton family when Patricia was around 13 years old. Her mother, Pat, succumbed to a brain aneurysm, leaving Chuck with the sole responsibility of raising their five children. Overcoming this adversity, he single-handedly brought up his children and ensured their growth into successful individuals. Among Patricia's siblings, Michael Heaton upheld the family tradition following in his father's footsteps by becoming a writer for the Cleveland Plain Dealer for an extended period of time. Meanwhile, Sharon Heaton chose a different path, joining the Dominican Order. She committed herself to a life of service and became a nun, dedicating her career to education as an elementary school teacher at a Catholic school in Virginia. Quite different from her siblings, Patricia Heaton was just a regular girl from Bay Village, Ohio in the late 70s. But within her, a dream was simmering, a dream as vibrant and pulsing as the lights of Broadway. So in 1980, she decided to chase her dream and move to New York City. Life in New York was tough, with lots of auditions and many rejections. But Patricia didn't give up. She took acting classes and worked hard to improve her skills. She even helped start an off-Broadway acting company called Stage 3. This is where people first started to notice her acting talent. Her work in theater led to guest roles on television shows, painting small strokes on the vast canvas of the small screen, but nothing big. However, in 1989, Patricia Heaton got her first notable TV role. She played a doctor named Dr. Silverman in the popular ABC show, 30-something. Before this role, she had been trying to make it as an actor for around 10 years. She had some small parts on shows like Matlock and Alien Nation, and she had also done some theater in New York but none of these roles were really helping her career. In an interview with Entertainment Tonight, Patricia said that she had been in New York for about nine years and was struggling to find work. She even had to produce her own plays just to give herself a job. So she decided to leave the theater and try her luck with TV and movies. This meant moving to Los Angeles. According to Patricia, this move was her last attempt to make it as an actor. She told herself, if something doesn't start happening in two years, I need to go back to school and get a useful degree and try to make something of my life. Luckily, she got the roles on Matlock, Alien Nation, and 30-something, so she didn't have to go back to school. Then, in 1996, her big break arrived. The sitcom world welcomed a new queen when Patricia landed the role of Deborah Barone in Everybody Loves Raymond. In the role of Deborah Barone, Patricia was not just acting. She was living, breathing, and embodying the character. She took the script and spun it into gold, and as a result, her performance won her two Primetime Emmy Awards. For Patricia, the journey had just begun. From there, she went on to star in successful series such as The Middle and Carol's Second Act, and continued to enchant audiences with her talent. The girl from Bay Village, Ohio, who once dreamt of the lights of Broadway, had not only reached the stars, but also became one. Not many American sitcoms reached 200 episodes, but Patricia actually starred in two that did. Everybody Loves Raymond with 210 episodes and The Middle with 215 episodes. These were both very successful shows. Everybody Loves Raymond's Deborah is the tired wife of a self-centered sports writer who has to deal with his bothersome parents and brother living next door. But Heaton's journey to get this part wasn't easy. Heaton said that she auditioned for Raymond at the last moment. 
she had to rush because her babysitter, who was a college student, had to go to class. Heaton said, I'll be back soon, please just stay. On top of that, she was upset with her husband about something, which helped her feel like the character, Deborah. She got to the audition and asked if she could go before the 20 other women waiting because she had to get back to her babysitter. But she got annoyed when the director and producer wouldn't let her read her lines and just kept talking to her. Then they introduced her to Ray Romano, the star and one of the creators of the show. But Heaton didn't know who he was and thought he was there to take coffee orders. She ended up reading her lines very quickly and left as fast as she could. Soon after, she got a call to meet the president of CBS, and that's when she was offered the role. However, while Patricia's professional life was taking a turn for the better, a serious scandal involving her husband emerged. You see, in 2019, just a short time after she finished her role on The Middle, Patricia returned to TV. She starred and worked as an executive producer on a show called Carol's Second Act for CBS. The show was about a retired teacher who decided to become a doctor after her kids left home. But the show didn't do so well, and it was only the 75th most-watched show on TV that season. CBS ended Carol's second act after only one season in May 2020. But there could have been more reasons for the show's end than just low ratings and poor reviews. Heaton's husband, David Hunt, who also worked as an executive producer on the show, was accused of touching staff writer Brody Gupta in a way she didn't want. Hunt denied these claims. Because of these accusations, the network made Hunt take a class on how to avoid harassment, and Gupta left the show. Nowadays, Patricia is sober. In 2020, Heaton finished working on Carol's second act, a show about a woman who changes her career later in life. That same year, Heaton published a book called Your Second Act. It's a book of stories about women who decided to change their lives when they were older. Heaton herself decided to stop drinking alcohol in 2018, just after she turned 60. Heaton said that many women who drank a moderate amount in their 30s and 40s often become alcoholics in their 50s and 60s. You're a little lost and so you reach for the bottle to make the uncertainty go away. I felt that a bit with myself, she said. She noticed that she was looking forward to having drinks every night. Heaton said she feels a lot better now and quit drinking to make sure she would be healthy for her future grandkids. Interestingly, Heaton's personal life contrasts sharply with her professional success. Her paycheck from Everybody Loves Raymond was a whopping $450,000 for each episode towards the end of the series. And even on The Middle, which was not as popular, she still made a cool $250,000 each episode. Her big paychecks have let her buy some pretty fancy houses, in 2001, Patricia and her husband bought a massive 8 400 square foot house in Los Angeles for $4.85 million, but they didn't keep it forever. They sold it 12 years later to TV big shot Shonda Rhimes for $8.8 .8 million. Then they bought another big house in Los Angeles in 2013 for $5.4 million. They sold this one too, in 2020 for $7.5 million. Even though these numbers seem huge, they're not a big deal for Patricia. She's worth a lot more than that. Patricia Heaton has about $40 million to her name. So that's all for today, folks. We encourage you to check out some of the videos appearing on your screen. You might find them entertaining. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and drop a comment about what topic you'd like our next video to cover.